The Activities Laura One solution is called the ThinkPark platform. It's been designed to help service providers roll their IoT network based on the Laura One protocol, activate devices, and manage an end-to-end -end, uh, IoT network. So we have been uh, successful in helping service providers cover countries such as Belgium, the Netherlands, France, uh, Switzerland. And the uh, idea behind this platform is that we are able to aggregate uh, device uh, developers, application developers on top of the LoRaWAN protocol and make it easy for service providers to roll these services very quickly. IoT, I think, is on the verge of a major transformation as significant as the replacement of dial-up modems by broadband a few years ago. I think in the near future, humans and objects will no longer share the same communication infrastructure. So what we are building, this uh, ThinkPark platform, is really the, the first platform that is targeted only at things and provisioning an infrastructure that is really dedicated to things. The vertical targets we're seeing are mostly smart city types of applications, smart industry. So typically a country rollout would start with very focused rollout. So we tend to see the very focused smart city up verticals. So uh, smart parking, uh, smart waste management, street lighting. But as the uh, coverage uh, increases in a given country and we reach almost national coverage, we then start to see the more consumer type of applications such as uh, wearables, the ability to do uh, location, uh, geofencing type of applications. So we are now moving into that second phase where we're moving from the very industrial type of IoT applications to more the consumer type of applications. ThinkPark system really is, is an ecosystem management. Uh, connectivity is one part of it, but actually we need to manage also the onboarding of all devices. So you, you, you'll find actually in this room also a demonstration of uh, many objects and we manage the complete onboarding of these objects. We manage the uh, automated um, uh, testing of these objects to onboard them on operator platforms as well as the selling of the objects. So really it goes much beyond enabling connectivity. It's all a matter of being able to onboard open innovation what we try to do throughout the years is really build a system that can industrialize open innovation. Open innovation. So when you have you know, done the handshake with a nice company, what do you do next? And we address specifically that part. How do you onboard a, a new partner into your offering as an operator? We are uh, currently focusing on helping uh, cities develop a very horizontal portfolio of services. So um, location is proving to be one of a key uh, 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 vertical and use case for us. The ability for uh, LoRaWAN to be uh, very low uh, power in terms of technology is helping uh, key players in terms of the low cost structure and the ability to provide devices that are going to last for around 10 years of, of battery life. So this enables a number of use cases that could not be enabled prior to LoRaWAN based on SIM-based type of technology. So Actility uh, has decided to uh, uh, join the Alliance. We are actually one of the founding members. Having seen what the technology was bringing in terms of uh, three uh, key, I would say, differentiators, the first thing is the low cost structure. The second thing is basically the ability to have this low power consumption and to have this um, open uh, uh, framework for application development. So if you look at what's happening here at the LoRa Alliance event in Santa Clara, you see that uh, the developers, the device uh, developers, the application developers who are here find it easy to basically uh, develop both devices and application on top of this framework. So the reason we decided to go for LoRa is the ease of rollout, the low power consumption, and the low cost structure of those devices that are using unlicensed spectrum to basically roll out. We as Actility do not think there's going to be one holistic uh, technology for all of the use cases of the Internet of Things. We believe that there's definitely a sweet spot of LoRa, which is really 
uh, low power types of devices, low cost devices, and the ability to roll this out in either public or private types of, of uh, rollouts. So we definitely think that uh, a huge part of the IoT market, which we call the LPWA, so low power wide area networks, is really the sweet spot of LoRa as a technology. But obviously we are uh, looking at other uh, potential technologies, but we feel what's really working right now is really LoRa one. The importance of the alliance is to basically uh, structure the way that people are going to uh, develop their, uh, their devices. So we provide them within the Alliance with clear methodologies and best practices in terms of the way that they are going to use uh, code to develop applications and devices. And we do that in a way that every given partner, depending on what they're doing, they have a very clear understanding of how to play in that open framework. Imagine for a second what would happen if all Wi-Fi networks would collaborate. So in this hotel you have plenty of SSIDs also outside, but you know, the problem is you can't use them, uh, you, you can't connect. So LoRa has this dream of, so LoRa is a network for things, but we don't want to repeat the same mistakes. We want that network for things to collaborate, so you could deploy your own network in private premises, and I'll come to it in a minute, but we want the network on the private premises to collaborate and together form really something that you can easily connect to anywhere where any new private hotspot actually enhances the connectivity and usefulness for everyone. I think what is going to happen with the Internet of Things and the key role of LoRa One as a technology is the very pervasive nature of this technology and the ease with which you can really transform any device into a connected object based on the information that we can then collect and based on the uh, analysis that we can uh, do on this huge amount of data we are basically going to help uh, companies improve on their industrial processes and we're basically going to help consumers improve on their daily lives.